So we're going to be looking at something pretty cool today from Intel. It's not a new product, but it is a new software application that they've just released. It is a Windows gadget, which basically means it's a little application that runs either in the Windows sidebar, which is over here on the right, outside of the camera's reach. That's in Windows Vista. Or on Windows 7, you can actually move them around wherever you want. So it's the Intel Turbo Boost gadget. So you can see right here, this is an Intel Core i7 Extreme 965 processor, 3.2 gigahertz. There's nothing in the Turbo Boost box are right now. Now our CPU temperatures are around 50 degrees, which is a very comfortable CPU temperature, maybe a little high for the CPU, but we're going to go create an artificial workload and I'm going to show you what the Turbo Boost gadget does. So here is the workload we've created, a one thread, so that means it is a CPU workload that only takes advantage of, of one CPU out of this quad core. So something like a game or an older application might only make use of a single thread. Now we're going to run it on CPU 1, which is what a single threaded application would typically run on. Here we go. Now if you just cruise right on over here, you can see that core 0 to the left to the left, everything you own in a box to the left. Yeah, core zero right there is running at 70 degrees and all the other cores are much cooler. That's because this is a single threaded application. Now, if you go over to the Turbo Boost uh, widget, that is, oh, sorry, it's a gadget, gadget, not a widget. It is 3.47 gigahertz now, and it's the blue bar is all the way to the top. So that's a 3.2 gigahertz processor all the way up to 3.47 gigahertz. Now, if I change my workload, so if I run a four threaded workload, and if I change it around so that I assign it to any CPU it wants to be on, and if I click the right thing, it goes a lot better. Okay, so CPU affinity run on any CPU, torture test and run, we can go back over to my core temp monitoring. You can see that all CPUs are now being stressed and Turbo Boost only goes up to 3.33 gigahertz. That's because it's overclocking all four cores. Now, this is an older i7 CPU and the newer i5s and i7s on socket 1156 actually have better Turbo Boost that can provide up to a 20% performance improvement according to the Hardware Connects review on these CPUs. So this only goes up a couple of speed bins, one for a multi-threaded application and two speed bins for a single threaded application whereas the i7 860 and 870 can go up to five speed bins for a single threaded application with the i5 750 going up four speed bins for a single threaded application. So thank you for checking out my Linus Tech Tips blog video on the Intel Turbo Boost Gadget widget.